Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well. Get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life. We are literally herbivores in our nature. Further balance out your physical body's pH level and get with alkalinity. Then you can generate some static electricity send me some love telepathically set attention to your mind and set intention to communicate that is all there is to telepathy you are now tuning in to great days so Today is Earth Day, and I decided to pretty much uh, record a video, which I'm also going to introduce a very, very, or recite a very, very short poem that I wrote, a four-line poem for Earth Day, very simple and very enjoyable. Um, and then I'm pretty much just going to talk some wisdom or some knowledge, um, and just make it make it a, a video to relax on this earth day so today's video is earth day 2022 now so um yeah today's earth day April 22nd I do believe today is the day that the Sun shifts as well into the next sign um, Taurus okay um, I don't know what's going on this Earth Day like event wise I don't know which events are being held to the utmost importance so so I'm not really I'm not really connected with any of the events going on other than like uh, I guess the Save Soil movement. I'm kind of involved with this one. I kind of just put out uh, information, you know. I do want to plant some seeds. I have a a mami or mame sapote seed. It's pretty much like a um, I, I think it's a tropical fruit, maybe. But it's it's kind of like it takes on the same characteristics as an avocado um, in the way that that you you eat it when it's very ripe when it's squishy, you know, and and it, it's like a pudding whenever it is ripe whenever it, it's too hard. You can't eat it at all because it's bitter and it doesn't taste good and you can't even cut it and it tastes or feels like rubber in texture. Um, but whenever you do wait for it to get ripe, it, it's pretty much, it takes on a very, very sweet flavor naturally. And then it, it, it um, it takes on a, a pudding like texture, you know, and then, and then it has the seed. Um, it, it's like, it's like the shape of a, a, a vesica Pisces or, or like a football kind of. You know just a little bit more slim and and elongated but um yeah i have one of those i have like two of those seeds and then i have another one which is ripen ripening right now and then i have some avocado seeds that i want to plant so i'm gonna try and do this on earth day i don't know if i'll be able to because i don't have topsoil or anything like this but um i'll see most definitely the time to get out into nature though and connect with the earth you know maybe meditate maybe do some yoga or oh, I'm obviously going to meditate and do some yoga but for you meditation and yoga or uh, just go connect with the earth you know old-fashioned um, 
and then soak up those earthly energies you know get in tune with the emotions get in tune with the uh earth tetrahedron as well part of the merkaba body the the geometry body the light body the spirit body um made it made up of two superimposed counter rotating tetrahedrons one is facing upwards one is facing downwards the downwards is the earth tetrahedron and uh, its base is aligned with the sternum or the heart chakra and it rotates clockwise and it's our emotional fluctuation and then the one facing upwards is called the sun tetrahedron and its base is uh, aligned with the I guess you can say the the root chakra or the sexual organ area right here and then um, it's all about counterclockwise rotation and it, it's um, it's mental fluctuation so then they superimpose and this is a healthy Merkaba you know a light body but um, yeah most definitely get in tune or connect with the earth on Earth Day um, I don't want to read the poem yet because it's so short and it's very self-explanatory so no interpretation needed but let me see uh, I guess save soil is something that I can talk about right now so last save soil video I did was pretty much about planting seeds either actually literally in the ground or planting seeds in the mind of people um, in direction for for saving soil you know because soil is literally um vital to our life as a species and without it we would not be able to eat you know and this is where it is going so far uh this soil health is degrading at a very very rapidly accelerating rate you know each and every day it's just uh accelerating to the point where it's um degrading more and more okay and and uh eventually if it isn't made aware or if we don't do something as a species it's going to get to um it's going to go through the process of, de of desertification which is actually where where fertile topsoil is um pretty much being uh made into a desert you know where where you can't grow crops and you cannot you cannot have any uh you can't have anything produced in the soil once it goes through the process of desertification, which is where it's going, because the the health of the soil is degrading. You know, because of everything that uh, we're doing to the earth in pursuit of our own wellness. Okay, um, but we're just consuming it away. So yeah, the soil definitely needs to be taken into awareness because, once again, without it, by um, it's like this if we don't bring it into our attention if we don't uh do something about it individually and collectively by 2035 i think about 10 years from now uh we especially in america are going to have to go through severe famines and uh, a lot of people are going to pretty much die from starvation okay and that's the truth um it's tragic but it's our responsibility you know we're doing this to the earth we're actually the ones who are are damaging the soil itself so it's just so that it's our own karma it's our own action if we're doing this it's going to come to bite us back in the tails you know um so it, it's nothing too tragic in the way that that we know what we're doing and we're not doing anything to fix it so much so you know so I just say to to be more aware of it and and do all you can to pretty much um, revitalize soil health you know whether it be planting one single seed that seed if grown to maturity can produce hundreds of more seeds you know which get carried out by the winds the elements the animals and then um, eventually those grow more and then those seeds pretty much can have potential to grow more and more and then this is pretty much the process of the earth um revitalizing itself or or regenerating itself um cellular cellularly okay if the if the soil is the earth's um crust or its skin then it, it's pretty much uh, regenerating its skin in a way 
in that process of, of synchronicity and whatnot but yeah um that's a little bit on, on saved soil i want to once again plant that that sapote seed but uh i do live in an apartment complex so it, it's hard to find places to plant it i obviously can't plant it at the park because um most of the soil there is it's not top soil it's pretty much like uh it's made up of, of rocks and concrete even though it's a park so you cannot you cannot even dig at all and, and it's terrible it's not gonna bear any trees so i might just like have to find a, a pot with some soil in it and, and sprout it and then find a suitable place to plant it hoping that um it'll mature maybe with the avocados as well but yeah uh definitely going to get out into nature and and just connect with the earth because you need that negative grounding as well too much positively ionically charge is um it is imbalancing and it can actually lead to disease so the earth itself is a negative charge it's grounding when you plant your feet on the earth barefoot it grounds you like the black wire on a battery and um, this is so because you have chakras at the bottom of your feet and chakra in in hindu sanskrit actually translates to wheel because what a chakra is it's an energetical wheel okay or a vortex even and uh these chakras at the bottom of your feet they uh they connect to the earth just like you would plug a an outlet into or just like you would plug your charger for your phone into an outlet your feet plug into the earth and it begins the process of grounding okay which is why it's called the ground and um it's a negative charge it, it, it's it's grounding to you it's the black wire on a battery and you need that balancing to to pretty much uh not explode you know like uh which is what would come if you were too positively positively ionically charged without that grounding you know it, it can lead to imbalance and it can lead to disease further so yeah make sure to definitely walk on the earth barefoot free your foot actually as well because it feels amazing to walk on the the earth barefoot as well it, it pretty much like arises that that primal nature in you or that deeper instinct within you um and, and it just feels amazing so now i'm gonna get into the poem okay because the video is getting a little longer but it's all good so poem is called earth day for earth day bring your attention to the bugs and trees and just love in the timeless the eternal cared for like some cubs mother earth deserves the same in return bring her flourish this earth day unify be at one within this eternal orbit okay it's a very beautiful poem it's very short too so i'm gonna read it one more time and uh i'll close out the video so earth day bring your attention to the bugs and trees and just love in the timeless the eternal cared for like some cubs mother earth deserves the same in return bring her flourish this earth day unify be at one within this eternal orbit okay so that's the poem earth day um hope y'all liked it you know it, it wasn't too complex to understand it was very short too so just a little bit of, of poetry for earth day um most definitely make sure you get out tomorrow because i'm actually filming this on the 21st but uh, on Earth Day 22nd, get out into nature, ground yourself, meditate, 
um, do whatever it is you want to do to connect with the earth, plant some seeds, go water some grass or water some plants, um, go inspect some bugs, you know, some, go inspect some insect, um, do something like feed your animal, you know, or feed the animals, the ducks, if, if you have ducks, if you see some ducks, feed them. Uh, go talk to people, you know, just connect with the earth in itself because why not and to make sure to um, Bring the the soil into consciousness, okay, because once again if we don't it's gonna lead to to desertification and um, plenty uh, of tropical very very lush tropical jungles in the past have been uh, desertified and, and left to absolute um, nothingness you know other than than a desert not fertile enough to produce any food other than cactus and whatnot so um one one of the examples of this is also the garden of eden okay uh the garden of eden it, it was in mesopotamia before mesopotamia was actually a a desert it was a, a very very lush tropical jungle you know, but it went through that process of desertification and it was left uh, a desert, which is where it is now. So this, it, it can take place once again here in, in the West. But uh, if, if enough people band together, I guess, and make it more um, aware, then we won't have to go to these famines 10 years from now and we won't have to go to the starvation and we won't be uh, at civil war with each other very fairly for food you know um we can we can just we can completely uh skip all of that you know by just being a little bit more aware of of where it is right now and the degradation and um yeah that's pretty much it so hope everybody did enjoy today's video on earth day make sure to get out into nature and um enjoy the earthly energies as well so Subscribe over here to the left of me. Drop a like on the video to the right of me. Support the channel once again. Generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura. It needs to be strengthened and realized for the collective rise in consciousness. I love you, everybody. Have a great day and peace out.